the Lord. I'm so glad that he loved me. I'm so glad that he was willing to go to a cross and lay down his life that we could have life and have an abundant life. You know what? So many people, even though they get saved, they walk around still with their head down, hung low, with a sad face upon them. But you know what? We as children of God need to learn how to rise up and say that I am the blessed of the Lord. I am a child of the Most High, and he has redeemed me. I don't have to die and go to a place called hell. But you know what? That should not be the only reason that we want to serve him. We should want to serve him because he loved us brother Jonathan and I love him and I want to give my life for him the way that he gave his life for me I want to live for him not just once a week or twice a week once a month or whatever I want to live 24 hours a day for my Lord because he was so willing to go you know because he was willing to go we got so much to thank him for this next song says so much to thank him for I could right now begin to thank him for salvation and still never be able to thank him just because he read down one day where I was walking in sin and he lifted me up. You know what? I didn't go looking for him but he came looking for me and I'm so glad that one day he found me. Praise God. And I've heard a lot of people say, well I found the Lord. The Lord wasn't lost. We were. Praise God. And he came and found us. Praise God. When I looked up, you got a need, if you've got a prayer request, if you need healing, or if you're out there and you're lost and you're undone and you want somebody to pray with you because you want to give your heart and life to the Lord, if you'll call in, we will pray with you and believe God to do the work. The phone number is 
4671. If you will call us, we'll pray with you at the end of the service. Brother Carter's going to be bringing the message, but we will uh, pray for every prayer request and every need. So if you've not got a need, call it in, and we will pray and believe God to do the work. He said, we're to agree as touching anything whatsoever they ask, believing, and it shall be done. So, you know, uh, whenever we pray, we need to believe that we're going to receive the thing we're asking for, and we shall have it. Praise God. This next song says, Prayer Bells of Heaven. You know what? That's what we all need. We need more uh, praying time, more time down on our knees, praying and crying out to God. You know what he said, when signs travail, sons and daughters are born into the kingdom of God. So we need to learn how to pray, get back to the place of where I'm here to talk about how my mom and dad and grandmother and all of them, whenever World War I is going on, two going on, they said they were out in the fields and out in the mountains and they were praying. You know what, you hardly ever hear of anybody praying anymore, but you know what, we better get back to the place of where we begin to cry out upon the Lord and learn how to pray and intercede for the lost because there's people going to die and go to hell if we don't stand in the gap. And he said in one place, he said, I sought for a man to stand in the gap and make up the head. So he's looking for somebody that is willing to say, Lord, I'm here. Let me stand in the gap for a lost soul. Praise God. 